everyone. Bingo, one o'clock rock, here we are. Think Tech, Jay Fidel. Think Tech, uh, Tech Talks today with um, a wonderful person who is with Verizon. This is Michonne Reyes. She's the solutions manager at Verizon's new and improved, just moved in a few weeks ago, Pearl Ridge store. And she's gonna share with us the release, which is hot copy of the new Pixel, Google, phone. Wow, welcome, yeah. Thank you, thanks for having me. <laughs> so, first, Keska say Google Pixel phone. When all of a sudden, out of left field, mm -hmm. now there's, another, you know, we, we had I, iPhone, obviously, the, you know, the, the, the 800 pounder, and then we had Samsung, the, the one that, you know, blows up, and, and which I love, which I have one it's here somewhere. There's my Samsung, yeah. showing my, my level of commitment. Yes. And I also want to say that I am committed to Verizon for a long time, okay? I'm one of your customers, so. And, um, and I believe in Verizon. Okay. Um, and then out of, out of the blue, here comes Pixel from Google, which, you know, that's kind of a 900 pound gorilla, isn't it? So what's going on? Well, it's really exciting to have Android um, or Google have their own phone. People want Androids for Google, especially. Um, the really cool thing, and I think the um, all the reviews that are going on right now, big big people talking about it. Got the BuzzFeed, we got the Wall Street Journal. They're on, they're saying nothing but good things about this phone. Uh, what's really appealing, of course, is it's Google only. You have unlimited storage for your pictures and videos. Well, like the cloud. Right. The Google cloud. Google will provide you with your own storage so you don't have to worry about running out of pictures. You don't have to worry about having to load it onto your computer, running out of space, stopping in the middle of a photo, right? Yeah. Also, you have the ability to do a face-to-face -face talk with both iOS, Apple, and with Android. So you're not limited to just FaceTime on your iPhone, or oh, just the okay, Tango, okay. or whatever feature on your this Android. This is Google's program, but it envelops the other ones, is that Correct, it? and it's only on the Pixel, the Pixel and the Pixel Cloud. <laughs> so the Pixel's more Pixel, That's they must have named it because they have more Pixels. What, what's the story? Clarity of your um, camera screen, the picture quality, you got 12.3 megapixels on the rear, and eight point in the front. So when we take our, our selfie picture later, it'll yeah. be just like we use the rear-facing camera. I can hardly wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to stop the show just to take a selfie. No. That's tacky. Later, right. Yeah, later, but we will, I promise. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> you, you're using it. This, this is one. This is it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's being loaded now, but there, there it is. You see it? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the Pixel. And it's about the same size as my Samsung over here. Okay, I got a, I got a case on my Samsung. This is no case on it right now. No yeah. case. And um, it's about the same weight. Actually, maybe a little lighter, I think. What else about it? We got three colors on it. They call it quiet black, very silver, and really blue. So uh -huh. you this, got is the, this is the, the... Very silver. Very silver. Yeah. It's not black. It's not blue. It's very aesthetic. There's no button on the bottom. Right. So NB on the bottom. Nothing mm -hmm. there. <laughs> not, not like Apple and not like uh, Samsung. Right. So how do you operate it? It's all your touch screen here, right? It's and all on the screen. All on the screen. You got your... Slide up for your applications oh. there. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. It's fast. It is fast. It's so fast. You don't have a lag on there. Now, you're not on wireless right now. You're on the system. Uh, we're on Verizon's 4G LTE network, which is actually what makes the Pixel perform the best, which is why it's exclusive to Verizon Wireless. Explain that to me. So Verizon has an angle here. Verizon is the best 4G LTE Correct. for this phone. Right. Why? Yeah. You need it to be able to process fast. You need the cameras. You need your, your upload speed. You need your download speed. Oh, yeah, you do. You don't want to lag, especially if you're taking pictures across the country and you have to load it up and put it in. And So is it automatic that it goes to the cloud? Uh, you can program it to where, but what stores all your pictures and your video to for the unlimited is through Google. Google's the one that will store your unlimited storage of pictures and well, video. Do I have to affirmatively send it up, or does it go up automatically? The... That I'll get back to you. Okay, right. It's okay. Sorry, it's a brand new phone. Okay. I don't expect, you know, you have no experience. I have no experience, but I will have experience. I'm going to try one out. I'm going to try one out. I want to see how it works because I, I may change the phone, but not Verizon. Thank I'm you. going to be with Verizon. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what about the battery? The battery is so important. You know, it's like I'm a pilgrim. You know, I'm on a pilgrimage trying to find a long life battery. I haven't found it yet. What about this one? Well, for if you needed to do a quick charge on it, 
you can get seven hours of battery life in just 15 minute quick charge. The port's a little different. It's a type C charge. So if you look at it, it's a little Go different. Either way? Yeah, you don't have to worry like about that. in the That's dark, right? When you plug it in. I always do it wrong. <laughs> I always get it wrong, you know? Yeah, you it's know. like when I put my USB in the right. same thing, always backward. backward always. And it, we do it, get it, a lot of people coming in with a broken port and they're like, I don't know why. And <laughs> we know why. Now you don't have that problem. So the Type C, seven hours gives you, I mean, I'm sorry, 15 minutes of charge gives you seven hours of battery. Okay, what, what about 100%? What will 100% last you? Like, how long will it take? Or uh, how long will it take? You know, ordinary use at a hundred percent full. I get back to you on that. Yes. <laughs> Depends on what you're doing on your phone is what it is. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching your videos, if you're taking your yeah. pictures. Well, you know, video is really important. I was telling you before we started. You know that I use the Samsung to take professional video that that streams mm -hmm. like on OC16 that we can use here on ThinkTech streaming mm -hmm. to our system, and I want to be able to do that too on my on my Pixel. My pixels sound like it's got more pixels, right. so that might be a better bet for me. The resolution of your camera and your pictures, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You else? can take pictures with the low light, bright light, mm -hmm. cat shots, mm -hmm. um, and the smart burst. So your, your functions of your camera, definitely a big plus with the pixel. Okay, now, you know, <clears throat> I know I have Android, and I know on, on, my, on my Samsung, uh, Samsung does not make Android, Google makes Android, mm -hmm. and I expect that Google, that the Pixel phone is going to have the Android operating system, right? Well, you have you have the Google operating, which is what functions the phone, but it's similar, right? It's not the same as the Android system, say for Samsung. Correct. It's Google. Um, the Google part of the Android is what the people like about Samsungs. Uh huh. Yes. So of now course. you have Google exclusive, just Google everything, Google and Google Phone. Yeah. With Verizon Network. So I, I, I saw how fast it is, and it looks similar. It's, it's very colorful and crisp and all that. Exactly. Anything else you can tell me about the operating system? Um, let's see. Uh, so you have your Google Assistant, right? So everybody would like to have a personal assistant. Now you have your phone that has your assistant. Your Android does it already, too, but now you have it straight with Google. Okay, Google, remind me about my appointment tomorrow. Um, you can just press your home screen button and it'll take you straight there. Okay, Google, add milk to my shopping list. And you do it all, touch of a button. You it's don't like have to Siri go through then. it, right? Well, Maybe yeah. Maybe better. I would like to say the speech part of it is a lot better. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when we compare the two, uh, the Pixel Google phone will actually hear you a lot better. You don't have to repeat yourself or oh, delete. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I want that. That's yeah. what we do like. There was an article in the MIT Technological Review two or three days ago about how speech recognition is really going places. Uh, and, and one of those uh, expressions is in the Amazon Echo. You've heard of that, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, where you can do amazing things. And now Amazon came up with this thing, the Fire Stick. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what's happening is there's more and more of the speech recognition. Mm -hmm. So you expect Google to be right up there at the edge of the envelope. And that's and exactly what it is. understand yeah. everything you say and respond to you. You know, I want to I talk to my phone. I want my phone to give me therapy. And my phone to tell me everything I need to know. Yeah, and you want it to be able to understand your language. If you're from Hawaii, you speak pidgin. You know, you have a different language. Yes. You have a different uh, ethnicity. You have an accent. You want Google to hear you. It's been getting a lot better. That's exactly right, Michelle. Because, <laughs> no, because, no, really, because, you know, speech recognition is more than the sounds. It's the context. So you, ha you have to be very smart, artificial intelligence, in order to know what I've been talking about. Therefore, you can figure out what I'm talking about now. Mm. And, you, you know, when you click into, say, Pigeon or any language, any accent, that's what they got now. And if you have the cloud working, right, if this thing is living on the cloud uh, or touching the cloud, you know, you can get smarter and smarter and smarter. I would ex expect nothing less from Google <laughs> right. and, and Verizon. Okay, what about all the other functions? What about apps? What about apps? Okay, so it, it will work on the Google app ecosystem because it integrates through Google. So if you're already using Google for a lot of your other things on your computer, or on your different uh, wireless devices, it's all going to be integrated with your Google apps. So uh, also, if you have Android apps, you should be able to do it on there too. Oh, okay, I guess okay. in that case, when you're asking about that Android, with the Google apps, most of them are Google apps, and so therefore you'll be able to have those same apps on your Pixel and Pixel XL. Okay. Well, I mean, am I going to be okay? I mean, if I if I switch, and, and in the second part of the show, when I ask you about what happens when I switch and <laughs> how do I switch, but <clears throat> if I switch, 
can, will, will I be able to use those same apps? I mean, will, will it come up automatically? Will all my apps come up? And will I be able to get them all, or just some of them? Well, your Play Store is operated through Google, right? Your Google Play Store? So it's the same Play Store. Correct. Therefore, the same apps. Exactly. And is it running? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, and is the processor faster than uh, the others? They don't go by gigabytes. They go by GBs. They go by GMs, I'm sorry. So it's a, a cool... Cool, um, sorry, Snapdragon 825 processor with 4 GM RAM. Usually we go by gigabytes, and now it's GM, so it's, it's different, different. And faster. So, you know, it sounds like I'm just sort of... Like a dragon? Yeah, I'm connect <laughs> yeah, connecting the dots here, but it sounds like this is a little disruptive and that Google is pushing it. You know, it in order to come up with new ideas. Yeah, They're right. Raising the bar. Right. <laughs> and then after a while, the other guys will have to follow some of the innovations that, that are in this phone here, this one. That is true. This Pixel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, why why did Verizon get this gig? I mean, it could have gone to uh, you know, uh, not to mention your com competitors, but it could have gone to T-Mobile. It could have gone to AT&T. It could have gone anywhere. Why did you get it? Well, see, the biggest thing is Verizon's 4G LTE network, right? You need to, in order to have a beast of a phone that we call it, that can do all these fast speeds, process, nice camera, streamless, everything, you need to have a fast speed and a really good network, which is why we were able to pair with Google because of our network. We find, and also all the reviews um, of everybody using the Pixel right now, they find that it runs best, it will be best on our Verizon 4GE network just because you need to have that stream fast speed to do everything that the phone can do and for it to function. That means faster. Faster. Best means faster. Ba best, faster, quality, um, resolution, no uh, buffering, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> major. So I mean, what, does that leave the other guys in the lurch? Are they going to be able to catch up with you? We will see. <laughs> Good answer. I, I, I like to just, you know, let it speak <laughs> let for it Enjoy itself. it for the moment. See what Correct. happens. <laughs> uh, yeah. Enjoy the phone. And if you want it working its best, that's why you would want it on our network. Yeah. So what are you doing in the rollout here? I mean, are you in the paper a lot? Are you um, on all the BuzzFeed kind of stuff? There uh, were things in BuzzFeed. There were things on Wall Street Journal. Everything's all good news. Yeah. Um, there are some things of where you can get it straight through Google, put it on Verizon's network, and of course that's what will make it work best. And just the biggest key points on there, what people like about it most, don't have to worry about your storage space. Google helps you with all that, right? And so this phone's awesome. Okay, all right. Before we go to the break, uh, I, I can tell you that our senior production uh, engineer, Azuri Vendor, uh, has some questions, and I hope she'll come on the line and <laughs> ask you what the questions are. Zuri? This is like that was unexpected. <laughs> um, why should I get the Pixel instead of the newest iPhone 7? Okay, question. Why should I get a, a Pixel, a Google Pixel, instead of an iPhone 70, 7? Well, I mean, they just came out. Why, why didn't I just go to the you? iPhone? You carry the iPhone, don't you? But you love your Samsung. You I like do. the Android and you yeah. like the Google part of it. Yeah. So take it up a few notches yeah. with better camera, better battery, yeah. more storage, yeah. still have Verizon's network. Yeah. And for those friends that are on uh, iPhones, you can still FaceTime them through Duo. Okay. That is why. All right. Well, you know, they say that, um, they say that Android, the operating system, which one of the reasons I like it is it's very flexible and you can make a lot of changes, a lot of settings. Customize it. A lot of, yeah, you customize it and so you, you know, do what you want mm -hmm. more, more than the iPhone, which is really mm, uh, not as customizable. Mm -hmm. It's sort of your basic right? phone and it, it, it doesn't let you change a lot of stuff. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Where does Google fit in all of that? Is, is it also very customizable? Yes, you'll be able to do all your customizing, which is, yes, similar to your Android because it's Google-based. So you have your open market with your Play Store. You can make your changes. You can play around with widgets, I'm saying. Um, it keeps flashing at me. That's the it's demo okay. mode. I do okay. apologize for that. Uh, that's okay. That's, that's no. what makes it appealing in our stores. And it's appealing <laughs> okay, to you it. right now, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> but okay. that's what it is. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, what, should I worry about, um, you know, these days about viruses and stuff on these phones? You know, because the, the iPhone and Apple, is, the reputation is that we don't worry about viruses for those, or for Apple products in general. Um, what about Android? What about Google? Well, Verizon has its own Verizon protection. So mm. it comes on all of the phones. And also, if you do a step further with your um, total mobile protection tech package, you get a tech coach. So you have an application that you can download that will scan for you, that it will tell you if there's a threat. So you don't have to worry about downloading any other third parties or having any kinds of hacks. Good. And that's the Google phone or Android or Verizon? Verizon will provide you with the Verizon I knew there protection. was a reason I liked you guys. Because I, I really think I really think there's a lot of risk out there now. Mm -hmm. People do it for fun or nastiness, you know, and we're always at risk. And they leave malware, or, you know, on every device and so forth. And I, I want to be protected, and okay. I'd like you to give me an operating system where I have to think about it. Right. You know? It's very, nowadays our phones are our lives. We put everything on it. We even pay bills and, you know, That's purchase true. groceries. And, and what you're tapping into is, you know, the enormous functionality of these phones. Is while we're sitting here, Michonne, while we're sitting here enjoying ourselves, in fact, there are new apps being uploaded to the Play Store and everything else that make them so powerful. Anything big now can be mobile, responsive mm -hmm. on your phone. It's incredible what's happening, even while we sit here. Yeah, and there's some children that can actually come up with their own apps, right? We're talking about the integrative technology with kids. Bill Hosey was talking about all that, too. Yeah, even scary. <laughs> it's tomorrow, <laughs> it's today, right? Okay, so we're going to take a short break unless... Our uh, senior production engineer has another question, does she? I think I'll wait until after the break. She Here says she's going to wait. Okay. All right. Please join us at Think Tech Hawaii. My program is Asia in Review. And my next program is on November 17, Thursday, 11 a.m. This is Johnson Choi, your host. Aloha! How you doing? Welcome to Ibachi Talk. I'm here, Gordo the Tech Star on Think Tech Hawaii. And I'm here with my good old buddy, Andrew the Security Guy. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Aloha. Good to, have you, good, to, good to have Andrew here in the house. Please join us every Friday from 1 to 1.30 and follow us up on YouTube. And remember, as we say at the end of every show, how, how you, you doing? doing? Thank you for watching Think Tech. I'm Grace Chang, the new host for Global Connections. You can find me here live every Thursday at 1 p.m. where we'll be talking to people around the islands or visiting the islands who are connected in various aspects of global affairs. So please tune in and aloha and thanks for watching. All right, we're back. We're live. We're here with Michonne uh, Reyes of the Verizon in Pearl Ridge. The crowds are going to be down there, be lining up to see you. It's going to be really interesting. And if I walk in the store, and I will, I'll find you. You can run, but you can't hide. And I say, all right, with the Samsung, I want to go to the biggest, best. I want to go to the, you know, frontier on this thing. I want to have what Google has, OK? okay. Um, how does that work? What, what happens to me? Well, you're going to come into our, our store. I'll be there, yeah. You're going to be wild because it's new and improved. We just expanded. Um, you'll get checked in so you don't have to worry about being lost and waiting your turn. We'll let you know that they'll have a specialist come and help you. The specialists are the ones that know all about the phones. Yeah. They can tell you the comparisons and what's cool and everything. Yeah, good. Um, while you're waiting, you'll be able to look through all the phones. We, when you first walk into our store right now, we have the Pixel set up on the left side. It kind of has its Google colors um, oh, in the pods. Colors, yeah. Well, we actually have four, five, five or six phones out right now for okay. you. So, um, you can play with them while you're waiting. Get get comfortable with it, so you know what questions to ask and and what you're looking for. Compare them to the other phones. That way, when the specialist comes to see you, um, we'll f they'll discover and find out what you like about your phone currently, what more you want, be able to connect what we're discovering to the right phone for you. Um, you know a lot about what you want. We know about what we can give you, so that puts you in the right phone. Already, we know you like your Android phone. We know you like the operating system and the customizing. But you love Google about it. That's why we get you into the Google phone. We know you like your camera. We know you, the battery is important for you. That's why we get you in the Pixel. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, don't tell me exactly, but tell me in general how the transfer would work. My contract is a 
lease, con lease contract, right? So you're paying uh, monthly for I'm the paying equipment. monthly for right. the phone. The reason I'm paying, you can guess why I'm paying monthly, because I always have to have the latest yeah. and greatest, mm -hmm. and I always transfer it to the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. um, so how does that work? I'm still, you know, a Verizon customer. Mm -hmm. Um, how does that work? So when you do it with a device payment plan, which you're currently on, your plan can stay the same, or we can upgrade it or, or change it to what works best. If you're using the, the amount of data you need or you need more, mm -hmm. if you need to add a bigger device, like say a tablet, we have tablets out. Mm -hmm. We also have home phones and we have um, portable hotspots. So we can customize it all into one plan. As far as how it works with your phone, you would continue to pay a monthly charge. You can get it for as low as $27 a month for the 32 gigabyte mm -hmm. on the Pixel. Is that Pixel. the biggest one? The Pixel XL, that one's going to be a few dollars more. Okay, so what, what, how big is the uh, XL? That one... 64. 128. No, no, no. The memory space, 128. 128, yeah. whoa. Yeah, so it, go, it skips from 32 and goes to 128. That's okay. That's all right. So more than $27 a month for that. For your bigger, oh yeah, oh, yeah, one twenty-eight. Yeah, okay, you got you got a few you got a few more more dollars on that one. Okay, okay. When you trade in your current phone, though, right now we have specials going on, so you can actually get up to four hundred dollars off the phone. So that will bring your monthly cost down even more. Um, it, it, so if you break down four hundred by two hundred and forty-eight, I'm not really that quick at math, <laughs> but uh, whatever. Right. So you will be paying a lot less than twenty-seven dollars a month. Yeah, maybe I'm going to come around and see you. What about my accessories my now? Now you got live cases on there. You got the Daydream View virtual reality. Um, of course, you want to protect it. That's really important. Yeah. Um, you you got a screen. I have a screen on on baby over here. Mm -hmm. I have a screen protector. It's the glass kind. You have this kind of accessory. Mm hmm We have the the tempered glass to protect it. Yeah. So that if you get a little nick or drop, it's not gonna crack your screen right. it's going to crack that protector right. and just replace the protector when okay you but i gotta get new uh, charging you will get a wall charger in the box which is the type c which gives you the fast speed right 15 um, minutes gives you seven hours yeah. you you would probably want to get a charger. car charger too i do see you have your portable charger already good job yeah, on that I, well that's because i don't have enough juice in this <laughs> i'm always carrying a charger in my pocket always. now you know 15 minutes you get yeah, seven that's hours. fabulous mm -hmm. Okay, what else do I need? I, as, and, and, and I, of course, you have cases for it, but that's no mm -hmm. big thing. Yeah. So that's all I need. Uh, uh, no, you want to enhance your performance or de your your experience with your phone, right? You watch movies or listen to music on there. I do. You'd want a portable speaker. You'd want to have that portable speaker playing to enhance that. Yeah, Bluetooth? Bluetooth speaker. Oh, but my Bluetooth speaker, what I have already, would work, It right? will work. It will okay, work, Okay, yeah. so that's, I don't have to actually buy that if I have it already. You don't, or you can gift it, and you can get one for someone there else. There you go. Yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah. <laughs> what else? What <laughs> else do you recommend? Up. What should I consider? Uh, let's see. We got things that will keep your phone smart. Like, okay, if you don't already have home security things in your house, you yeah. can get like a... Um, a, why, a camera, Bluetooth camera, that you can actually see your... Oh, see at your house. What, yes, yes. Th that's an app, or is that... There's an app that you would download on your oh, phone. Oh, but you get the camera to put the in camera. your house, and the app connects the two. And so you, you use it for it. security. You use it for if you have pets at home or children at home. Or if you there's a party going on in your house and you want to be a part of it, which actually would be cool if you had your <laughs> VR virtual reality glasses, That's right, sure. right? And you can see what's going on. Well, you have it. virtual reality for this now. That one because it's not exactly the same size, but maybe it doesn't matter. Samsung has the virtual reality thing. You got to slip the phone in there. Does they it do. slip in there too? Uh, there's one that there's the Gear VR they have for them, but also. Um, the Daydream View is the one that Google has. And right now, it's actually a really nice fabric -y that we have in the store when you'll see. Yeah. It has like a nice fabric. It's a design. It's kind of like an accessory that doesn't look so like a piece of goggles on, you know. You can actually wear it and look kind of cool. So it's not going to hurt me. I mean, financially, it's not going to hurt me to, I mean, not much anyway, to slip into a Right a now, there's pixel. a special going on there. And then, like I said, you trade in your current phone and you get the deal. You get the view with the purchase of a Pixel. Okay. What am I going to lose in this process? I mean, a little time making the transfer. Not if you're having fun in the store. You're not wasting any time. No, that's true. And you'll be there, so right. no question about that. <laughs> and we can have that party you're talking about. Yes. <laughs>
So, but, but do I lose anything? Uh, I might lose some of my accessories unless, well, you're gonna, you're gonna take my old phone. If you wanna trade it in, right? Trade it in. But you get to keep your same charger. It's different though. Maybe your charger yeah, well, this, will work this charger for you. would work, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a good charger. And then your micro charger from your Samsung will still work on your Bluetooth yeah. or any other accessories you had. Yeah. Um, but as far as losing, you don't have to change your plan. You can keep the same exact plan that you have, so you're not losing your plan. There's really nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to lose your contacts or your pictures or anything because we're going to streamline and transfer everything for you. Google itself saves things and contacts through your Google Drive and through your Google account. So once you load back into your new Google phone, you have it all saved up. So, um, yeah, so, the, so when I come in, you're going to be able to make the transfer of everything on the one phone to the other. I don't lose anything there. As long as you have your logins, which I'm pretty sure well, you have I'm pretty sure usernames and passwords. Yeah, we have yeah. other ways to try and help out, but the fastest way is if you have your logins already set up and if you backed up things already on your own. Stop everything. We have a question from the engineering room. I just have to wonder, you know, we're hearing so many great things. Are there any complaints about the Pixel? I just want to hear one complaint, just so I know it's a real phone. Is it too good you to be You can't hear that, but I'll repeat it for you. <clears throat> Zuri Bender, who is an inquiring mind, you know, um, she wants to know uh, if you've had any complaints about the Pixel phone. Maybe it's too early for that. And if so, what kind of complaints are there? What, what, are the, what are the things that stick in your mind that where it may be a problem of some kind? It, honestly, it is early for us to get the complaints. I mean, a lot of people are waiting for that time where they can do it or they've ordered it and they haven't gotten it yet. Yeah. Um, but I'd say the only thing, and it, this is in general when anybody moves from a phone or a operating system, is they miss what they're comfortable with. So there is a learning curve if you're moving into something, but we try to make it as comfortable and as, as easy for you to transition. You got to be open to it. We tell people when they get their phone at first, you know, take it a little bit at a time. Um, it's not something you're going to learn overnight. And if you get overwhelmed, take a step back, you know don't jump into it right away. That would be the only thing in general that we would get complaints about is if they miss their Samsung function or if they miss their Motorola function or Apple. Good Android, advice. Right? You know? Yeah, so um, are, are the lines around the block for this phone? I mean, have you had a lot of action on this phone? Well, let me tell you, when we had it out for uh, defill only, meaning it wasn't in the store yet, a lot of people were coming in asking to see it. A lot of people were waiting for it to come in on that day. So there was a demand. There were people that were excited about it. Now that we have it in store, a lot of people are coming in to see it. And Sure, that always makes a big difference when you when actually you have, have it. it yes. You can close the deal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see it, you touch it, you play with it, you know. It's like trying on gloves. Is it anywhere else? Can I go to Best Buy or... Uh, I'm going to say Radio it. Shack, but they don't count much anymore. Uh, Best Buy, can I go there again? You want to get it from Verizon Wireless, and you want to come see it at Pro Ridge. I want to see you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so when they come in, my last question, unless Zuri Benda has one, my last question is, when people come in, you know, when they talk to you, when they get all fascinated with this phone, what are most people looking for? What excites most people? What's the thing that brings them in? Of course, for this phone? Yeah. Google, right? People love the Google. That's why they like their Android. The picture, the unlimited storage for pictures and videos, and their fast uh, speeds for battery, charging speeds for battery. So you got your battery storage, you got your photo and your picture storage, you got your really nice 12.3 megapixel camera from the f rear face, 8 megapixel from the front face, and it's a pretty sexy phone. Yeah, it is. It has a big G on the back. See, the, let me show you the G here. <laughs> see, I don't know if you can see, there's a big G on the back. Google. G, G is one of the popular letters in the alphabet these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Michan. Thank you. It's been great to meet you, great to talk to you about this. And you, I'm not joking, I'll be down to yes. see you. I don't get to Pearl Ridge too often, but I'll, I'll make a trip for this. Why, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having Aloha. me. Aloha. Aloha.